Clara, you mentioned earlier before the show that um, you've got a child with allergies. Can you kind of take us through that routine with, with, with that extra thing to worry about? Absolutely. So, yes, one of my kids has severe food allergies. And for any parent, that's a terrifying thought as they're growing up. How are you going to teach them, you know, how to react? And how are you going to educate those children, those adults that are in your child's everyday life so that they are aware of just how serious the situation is? And you do just that. You learn yourself, first of all, educate yourself on the allergy, on all the substitutes, all the foods that are okay, the foods that are not okay. Learn to read ingredients, learn to, you know, to know everything that goes into the preparation of the food that you're offering your child. But, you know, when they start school, it's just that point of sitting down with the educator, sitting down with the teacher, letting them know the severity of the allergy, if necessary, providing them with EpiPens. Personally, my daughter keeps an EpiPen in her classroom and also in the lunchroom. Her class is peanut free, but accidents happen and it's always good to be prepared. Um, letting your kids know since they're little, hey, you have a food allergy and, and that's okay. This is how we're gonna deal with it. You can eat these foods because these foods will make you very sick and teaching them from when they're little. My daughter, Eva, she's four and she'll ask everybody when they try to offer her food, does that have peanuts? And she won't take the food item. She'll immediately come to me and she'll ask me, hey, mommy, does this have peanuts? Can I eat it? And is it difficult? It can be because sometimes it's not school. I think school is an easier setting because everybody has that information and they're equipped to handle an emergency.